Practive teachers of Reddit, did you know which students had a crush on you? And what is the strangest or most inappropriate thing you overheard said about you? Hey guys, giveaway for you. To join the giveaway, you just need to join the recent Discord server we created only for you. One of the first 100 people to join will get something from our sponsor. Link in the description. Story 1. French teacher here. Teenagers are just constantly inappropriate and need very little. Encouragement I got asked to prom. Had boys tell other teachers that they thought I was hot. Had a parent accusingly tell me that she now understood why her son loved French, which I took to mean that my innovative skill set had inspired him. I didn't mind though, it meant that I had a class with 12 previously disengaged 16-year-old boys come back for extra homework and revision. Classes every lunchtime and after school and every one of those bags of hormones passed. Story 2. When I was in junior high there was a guy who I honestly couldn't tell where he stood in the popularity hierarchy, but he always thought he was hot crap. Well we got an influx of 24 minus 26 year old female teachers which he, for the most part hit on which he was flatly denied. He didn't take no for an answer and proceeded to sexually harass and then assault two of the teachers. Not sure what he said, but he grabbed one's butt and tried to dry hump the other. Story 3. Oh lord, before my breast reduction I was a timid ta with 34h boobs at a high school. Surprisingly, it was girls I heard most of the comments from. Guys mostly just stared. Anyway, the worst was when I was watching over a homeroom and pretended not to hear a group of girls talk about a rumor that I had let several male students chest fricking me one after another. And because my boobs were so big I guess the cum pulled up in my cleavage and in the end I sucked it all out with a straw. Yeah, more than anything I was amused by how they thought chest fricking worked. Story 4. Among several personal questions was do you have a girlfriend? And once a student called me, Honey, it's especially Ikey because they're just 8th graders. Edit I feel obliged to defend my students given the general character of anecdotes featured in this thread none of my kids are unscrupulous little doing it crazed monsters or pre-skanks or anything the subject and method by which I teach is by necessity more personal and social than typical and so there's bound to be a girl here or there that crushes on teacher a little bit. They're good kids. Story 5 on my first day as a middle school intern, one of my students told his friends, Miss Turnoff, the century is mine. I walked behind his seat right as he said it and he just about died from embarrassment when he figured out that I heard him. One of my high school students told me that my intelligence was doing it. That was one of those moments where you look for another adult who can verify for any potential future record that you weren't just creeping on that particular student. Story 6. I'm not a teacher and I may be too late to the party for this, but when I was in high school there was one particular male coach who got lots, lots of female attention. Girls would come by his classes just to say hello, they'd stop and hug him in the hallway, sometimes get in trouble just to get put in detention because he oversaw that for a while. Just being around witnessing this crap was crazy to me because I had never and still to this day have never again seen girls just throwing themselves at a guy and fawning all over him. It was like this coach was a goddamn rock star. Later, when I was in college I learned that he went to jail for banging like all of them. Story 7 I wouldn't say I'm attractive, but being a ta in college a lot of girls get flirty for favorable grades. Some try harder than others. Then during office hours right before the final girls will be coming in. With push-up bras and tiny shorts like that's going to work. Once I subbed for my buddy's high school class and one of the girls sat front row center giving me the frick me eyes the entire hour. It was a little uncomfortable most inappropriate thing I've overheard said about me wasn't sexual but rather about my military experience, just spreading untrue rumors. Story 8. I used to teach high school math in New York and a good college friend of mine taught high school chemistry in Florida for a couple of years. He's a pretty good looking dude. We used to swap stories but he has one much better than all of mine. One Valentine's Day after school was over he returned to his science classroom to find a card on his desk. On the inside was written I want to periodically bang you on this table. Also there was a small bag of cocaine inside the card. Naturally, he chopped it up on his desk and did the whole bag. Hey guys don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to help out the channel. But first a word from our sponsor, Light Gallery. It's a game changer when it comes to illuminating your living space. If you're looking to add a touch of creativity to your home, this is the perfect solution. They offer a varied collection of high-quality illuminating objects. The last couple of days I had the chase to try out their realistic moon lamp. I have to say that my room caught a new feeling, and not only this, but this lamp is shown to improve focus, 
which was really important for creating awesome stories for you. Light Gallery offered 15% off if you use the code CARL7. But hurry, it's only for the next 72 hours. Link in the description and let's get back to the stories. Story 9. Okay, two stories. One. One of my friends who is a bit awkward would always say I love you to an attractive teacher typically once or twice a week. At first she would reacted to it by saying things like, what, why, stop it. Then her reactions became a bit less noticeable and during the last week of school she said it back and his face lit up like you wouldn't believe. 2. A male student 18 and female. Teacher 22 met in school and later got married so that was a thing. Story 10. A student raised his hand while we were going over homework in class and said miss I have a question. I said let's hear it. He pulled out a boombox from under his desk, pressed play and stood up on the desk. Just as he did. Backstreet Boys All I Have to Give came on and with his arms outstretched he asked will you go to prom with me. I turned so red I had to walk out of the room. It's pretty obvious when a student has a crush on you. If they're not doing something like this, they are blushing and struggling to get a sentence out when you're working with them in class. Story 11. Wife is an attractive teacher. She can definitely tell which students have a crush on her. Hi. Schoolers are not subtle. She was asked to be a plus one to somebody's wedding once, then the student reminded her the law was after 90 days post-graduation they could date. Also when the guys find out she's married they ask only the polite questions and give non-committal that's nice. Responses to the answers. Story 12. Not me but my friend got so embarrassed. Basically our English teacher is an absolute babe. She was walking towards us on the way to class and I say to my friend really loudly hey x what do you think of why and he goes oh my god she's an absolute babe. She's practically perfect. I would love to be her fiance and I pissed myself laughing and when he turned around he sees her goes blood red. Man I'm near certain he made the cross with his hands. Ms. Y just winked at him and said morning boys. Story 13. My sister is an attractive and overly nice 24 year old teacher grade 7 so it definitely happens a lot. Last semester she started noticing stuff going missing from her desk like her sports bra from her gym bag but thought it must just be her carelessness. About a week later her boyfriend noticed her light was on and went to go check. He found one of her students, belt, unbuckled, standing in front of her pair of heels that he rooted through her desk drawer to find. Now if that wasn't creepy enough, you have to know her feet stank. Like I lived her for 18 years, it was like mayonnaise and tuna broiling out in the summer sun. Still don't understand that kind of desperation. Story 14. I'm an attractive female high school teacher and OMG do I ever hear stuff said about me. They don't seem to realize how much their voices carry. The one that amused me the most just seemed... To not make sense, the boys were waiting for the bell to ring and I was at my desk using my computer. They were talking about how hot I was and one kid said, yeah, I'd love to cover her in chocolate sauce and rage frick her. I had so much trouble not laughing. Story 15. Well, I'm not attractive, or a teacher, or even a student anymore. I went to high school in the 80 seconds. In my JR year, I had study hall in the afternoon. It was in the school cafeteria, and we were assigned seats. I sat in a booth with two other guys. I was pretty nerdy, so was the other kid whom I was friendly with. And there were a couple of cute girls behind us. This was the study hall where I came up with the song calculator in my pocket makes me horny that I serenaded to them. <clears throat> Anyhow, the other guy of the three of us had a crush on the teacher monitor assigned to the class. She was pretty young, probably about 24, 25th years old. He used to stare at her and talk about how hot she was, like not quiet, so that only us two could hear, but fairly loud so that she could hear, and he used to like to go up and talk to her whenever he could. One day he started, making jokes about how it must be really cold today. Not knowing what he was talking about I asked him, and he said, loud enough, that her nipples were erect, and kept on talking about how hot she was, and about her nipples. I was a fairly obnoxious nerd, but he started really creeping me. Out, soon after, he was no longer in that study hall with us. I ended up running into him years later, like around 1998. Not sure how he recognized me, but I was picking up some Chinese food and so was he. Found out after high school he joined a seminary and was becoming a priest or reverend or some other religious pursuit. Go figure.